It sure is cold outside right now, but Logan residents, they're picking up the aftermath of this morning's winter-like storm. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph joins us live from Logan this evening with what residents there are facing as they clean up. Spencer. Yeah, I've driven up pretty much every street in Logan today, talking with tons of people who are either shoveling their driveways or picking up all these tree branches that have fallen all over town, or even some of them just having some fun in the snow. But there was one common theme that everybody told me. They cannot remember, at least in recent history, a time where a storm has fallen, or actually this much snow has fallen, this early in the month of October. <sighs> branch after tree branch was loaded up and taken away by Logan City Public Works. Uh, it's been crazy. I came in at 4 a.m. this morning. And... The storm hampering Logan earlier than any other in memory. No, this no, this is, I think this is like a record, a record for October. Yeah. And that many branches were bound to cause some damage. Oh, there it is. Oh, your engine's okay. These two came out to find a branch had fallen straight onto the hood of their car. But thankfully, everything under the hood looked good. Yes. Nothing looks dented besides all of your car. Great. I don't care how it looks as long as it drives. Across town, lifelong Logan resident Doreen Munson also had some damage. Uh, this tree was loaded with snow, so it was just laying on my house. I thought uh, big branches had fallen on it. I have this huge pine tree in the backyard, and a big branch fell on my fence. Munson is on oxygen. At about 3.30, the power went off, so I had to find some portable oxygen. But after charging her portable oxygen in her car, she got to work with the help of her brother. That's right, that's what it's for. Uh, <laughs> my house luckily didn't get too bad. There was just a couple of limbs I uh, got on my fence. The Aggies up at USU also got their fair share of downed trees. But one group made the best of it. We decided to make pumpkins because yes. it's still October. <laughs> this is what college is for. Yeah. We're using our, we're using our physics to <laughs> our, our chemistry. Putting all that snow to good use. I wonder if it'll work if we put softer snow on top. Yeah. So with the snowman making. We're doing berries. And the tree branch raking. Good start. <laughs> this unusually early storm has taken Logan by surprise, prompting everyone to get to work cleaning up the town. And we're going to haul it out and hope and pray that Logan City hauls all my branches away. So I have the outage map for Rocky Mountain Power here at 1.6 or 7,000 residents without power this morning. Right now, just in Logan, only 132. Down in Hiram, about 119. So significantly better. And thankfully, most of those uh, uh, power outages were dealt with by about noon today. So people were able to get power back as they were cleaning up all of the wreckage from the snowstorm. For now, live in Logan, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.